name is Selena, and in 2009, I was raped. After my rape, I called 911, and two police officers came to my home. their police car and drove me to the hospital. If I were to be asked um, if anything could be changed, what would it be? Through my life experience and through my research, I would say that we need to be able to report sexual assaults online. It shouldn't be up to a police officer to decide whether or not you can report this crime based on how much evidence you have. After, when I was 14, after I was raped, I told my girlfriend at the time, and she had called me a liar. She had said that I had said he had raped me because I wanted to cheat on her and stick with a guy uh, for the first time. And my mom, when, when I had told her, she had, now looking back, she, she just couldn't handle the idea of her little 14-year-old daughter going through something like that. So her, her gut instinct was, you know, it, that, no, that's not possible, that didn't happen, so. I was just frantic trying to get out of there. I think some janitor eventually let me out and I walked like a mile across campus, just like freezing totally ashamed, just, you know, just like totally in shock about what had happened. Um, I got back to my dorm and I kind of told my roommate what had happened and I kind of didn't know how to explain it because I wasn't sure really what had happened. I mean, I hadn't had sex with many people at that point in my life and I, the whole word consent just didn't exist. To them, I'm in a different place. Uh, it's only two years after I uh, opened up. Uh, and I think that uh, as a man, uh, um, if for women it's, it's very hard to talk, men don't talk. They don't talk because uh, we are living in a world that, um, that there is no place for that. And I'm so glad that that it's not a secret anymore. Rape culture tells me that my body doesn't matter, that my feeling of safety does not matter, that my sexuality does not matter, and that I do not matter.